Okay, welcome back. It's uh, been a while, but today in this video I'm going to go over um, this Christmas light system that we've got. Um, so this is our first introduction into LED pixels. Um, so we're going to kind of go over just how it works. I'll tell you how it's all set up, what's running it all, and then I'll leave you with just some going off showing some of the basic sequences. So uh, without any further ado, let's just jump into the show how it all works. one of the boxes so um, as you can see here's one of the data cables that coming out and then this wire just goes up the window to the one next door and then you've got these XT60 connectors so this is the power into the window and then it comes back out and loops back up and then goes into the box on the second window Okay, so you can see here the little boxes, so you can see at the back here you've got a little voltage converter, so that's taking the 24 volts coming in, and then it's also daisy chaining back out to go to the window above. And then they're powering the lights, which are 5 volts, these are WS233, I think is the technical term. Um, they're called LED pixels. And then there's this little controller here, um, it's called a D9 Mini, I believe. Um, it's just like a little Wi-Fi chip. So there's 5 volts coming from the controller, and then there's two data lines coming out. One's hardwired into this window, and then the other one is on this JST connector here, which goes up to the window above it. Um, and then like I say, uh, there's the, the in these like, waterproof socket boxes, there's laptop transformers. So this one's running these two windows here, and then the two above it. another one in this box here which is running the big windows as well as the stars and these lights so the controller for these is um, in a box up there on the gutter so um, you can see it's actually all quite simple so it's all sequenced in a program called X lights and then there's a Raspberry Pi running through this Wi-Fi access point here to control them all um, so realistically it's kind of up to you how creative you get um, and you can run all sorts of sequences, you can even have like things that talk and dance to music. We've not quite got that sophisticated yet, but we'll see. Okay, so here you can see just uh, the 3D printer making the star that we've got in the windows. So this just took a couple hours, it didn't take very long, uh, the infill's not very high. And then here we've got the first test of the software with the controllers on one of those stars, just testing it, seeing how it works. So this is the process for making them. So uh, we've got all the tubes, obviously we've got to connect the ends together. So you can see here the two strings of pixels for each one, and then we've got these three jumper leads going in between. And the way we're connecting them is we've got these special heat shrink solder things. So it's a bit of heat shrink with solder in the middle. And then there's two little glue seal things, and once they are shrunken down, it solders the wires and seals them. So all you've got to do is slide it on, twist them together, and then it works quite well. They do need quite a high temperature to melt though, um, and they are a bit finicky, so it's not necessarily better than soldering, but it's more waterproof and slightly easier. So once we've done all this, we've got to tape them all together with the um, elbows that are there, and then they can go up on the window. Okay, so here is just one of the first frames now that it's been built, and then we're testing it, and then here's just three more of them in the hallway just testing them as we were putting them together so uh, getting them all working and that's it we'll just put them on the wall okay 
Okay, so that little blue cable there, um, you're going to have to excuse the lighting, we're in the shed and it's dark. But uh, that blue cable there comes from the Wi-Fi antenna in the front garden. And then that goes to this PoE injector. And then that's connected to this 5-port Netgear switch. And then also connected to that is a Raspberry Pi. So this is running Falcon Pi Player, and that's got all the sequences which we've designed. Uh, and that's there on that, and then this controls the se se yeah, the scheduling, and then is commanding out all the LEDs through the Ethernet cable. And then we've also got a little router here, just to kind of manage it on its own separate network, because each of the controllers needs an IP, and then oh, of course you've got the there, and then any time you connect to it, any device might need an IP just to manually manage them. So that's what that system does. So that is very simple, just a switch, Raspberry Pi, Wi-Fi antenna, then a couple controllers. Okay, so I think that's going to finish off this video. Um, I might do a second one, just going a bit more in-depth into kind of how all the software works and more of a bit just data overview. Um, it started raining now in the time it's taken me to edit the video so far, but I'm going to upload it today, so oh well. Um, that's it, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, not that it means a lot at the moment. And, uh, well, yeah, I will see you in the next video, whenever that may be.